And now we're gonna talk about something my mom used to make me when I was a little girl and I wasn't feeling well from either flu or I had diarrhea and I was just losing all kinds of fluids. Her go-to recipe was called sanao or um um. And that essentially is rice, water, drink or soup if you wanna call it that. And all it is is rice, water, and any choice of salt that you like to flavor with. When I was little, I liked it with sugar, but I add the salt for electrolyte losses. So this is really good in addition to that. And of course you can do without both. So let's go make that right now. Okay, we have a two quart pot and we're going to pour in four cups of water. Turn on the fire. Two of medium. And then you can already add your rice, which is one cup. And a half teaspoon of salt. And that's it. Once it gets boiling, lower your flame to a simmer just in case because this will overboil and you see these this foam over here will climb over the top of your pot and we don't want to do that so mix every so often and keep going until your rice is very fluffy very soft looking and then you'll start seeing this water right here this is what we're gonna be drinking and skimming off the top you can even just strain the whole mixture for the water itself, but what I like to do is keep on using the same rice mixture to keep making the water, the sun out. So right now this is ready to strain the um um. It's actually really perfect. And then once we strain the water from this batch, we can leave the rest of the rice for our luga recipe. Now that the sanao is done, we have a strainer and we just put it over our cup and pour. All right, well, here we are. This is sanao or um um. And we're just going to look at the consistency here. Perfect. Let's taste it. Mm hmm. That's the stuff right now. Perfect. And of course, um, you can salt it or sweeten it to however you like. I might add a little sugar in it later. Anyway, with this rice, you can keep reusing this to make more of the sanao. And of course, no waste either with using the rice for making a recipe called lugao, which we'll talk about in another episode. So enjoy making the sano. If you like videos like these, please like and subscribe to our channel. And thank you so much for your support of our work at Herbalaria. Maraming salamat.